I'm extremely excited about this new addition. I've been carrying this uh, Ruger SP-101 357 mag for my everyday carry gun for the past four years now. And the thing's always had one hell of a trigger pull on it. And I had some friends check it out and they thought it was way excessive. So I ordered a spring kit uh, off the internet and took this thing from a 14 pound hammer spring to a 10 pound hammer spring. And I just did the work this morning and I also just put this really fancy new grip on it. It came with a way smaller grip and my big hands uh, needed something a little bigger. So uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Now I just need to make sure that I don't have any uh, light strikes on the primers. Last thing I wanna hear if I've got a bear charging me is click. So I've got it loaded with 38 special right now. And then I've also got a pocket, five of my uh, everyday carry loads. And I thought I'd just run it through it and get it on camera. Okay, so it's only about, I think I'm probably 15 feet away from the target. Uh, they're all center mass shots. Uh, they're, they're a little bit on the outskirts of the uh, circle that I drew there, but I'm pretty happy with it. I sure as heck like that spring. Makes this gun a whole lot more comfortable to shoot. And had no problems with light strikes. So now at two bucks a round, I'm going to try these things out just to make sure that there's no problems with this round. Boy, oh boy, what a difference between 38 Special and 357 Magnum, especially these hot loads that I carry every day. A whole lot more kick, but I, I love this trigger pull. So I suggest it. 357 SP 101. Go with the hoe grip on it with the finger grooves and that 10 pound hammer spring, 